Hello, Wakona families. This is Mr. Rob here with a preview of the Wakona Wednesday message. You're going to receive, uh, unfortunately for you, a lengthy email from me uh, in the text embedded beneath the video link that you're now probably watching. Uh, we have a lot of information coming your way now about hybrid learning. We spent a great deal of time communicating to you information about remote learning, and now we are getting ready to uh, make some final preparations for a transition to hybrid learning. So I wanted to give you uh, just an update and some highlights as to what's coming your way. First of all, um, in your Wakona Wednesday message, you're gonna find a video link that goes through and explains thoroughly and in detail how the hybrid schedule will work for your students. Um, it explains how it'll work for cohort A as well as cohort B. Uh, it will explain our basic expectations and it will also give you a glimpse as to how the school day is going to be structured. Also beneath that video link in the Wakona Wednesday message, you will find uh, a copy of a sample hybrid student schedule. Um, we, it is set up similar to how we uh, set up the remote learning schedule uh, so that we can have ease of transition from remote to hybrid uh, on October 5th. So we hope you find that helpful as well. Another big ticket item that we're embedding into the Wakona Wednesday message this week is a link to a, a Google Sheet spreadsheet that has all of our teachers listed along with a link to their Google site. Um, our teachers have spent a great deal of time setting up Google Sites uh, for, for every one of them that basically serves as kind of a doorway into uh, what they will be teaching. So you can go to that site, you can look at the courses, the, the, the syllabus, the course expectations, but the most important feature is that they will be posting the week ahead for each of their classes on this site. So you can have a, a general sense as to what your student's gonna be working on, uh, not only synchronously when they're with the student live and in school, but also asynchronously when the student is home alone, uh, still engaging in their school day, but doing so remotely and asynchronously without the teacher uh, by their side, obviously. So we think that the Google site's gonna be very helpful. And in particular, the, the week ahead uh, link in each Google site is gonna be of particular importance uh, for you. Uh, we have a couple of staffing updates as well. Uh, we are on the brink of hiring a new replacement for Mr. Bradshaw. We're very excited about that. Uh, we have a little bit more information about that in the Wakona Wednesday message in the text uh, of, of that email. We are also uh, in the process of hiring a new social studies teacher. Ms. Hillary Smith will be leaving us this Friday um, and we are going to uh, try to find somebody as soon as possible. We are in the middle of the hiring process for that right now uh, and we have more information about how we're handling that in the short term uh, in the Wakona Wednesday message. Um, AP parents, students uh, parents who have students who take advanced placement classes, there's some very important information for you about AP exam fees uh, in the Wakona Wednesday message. Ms. Salavantis, our guidance counselor who oversees uh, our AP um, um, work, she has put together a very detailed description of how you can go about paying for the AP exams, uh, and she also has some contact information available for you as well. Another feature that's going to be uh, new, and we're going to, it's going to be a monthly feature. We did this in previous years. We have a feature in the Wakona Wednesday message called the Parent Professional Development section. We do this once a month, and we basically give you some information that you might not otherwise have. Uh, it may not be about Wakona specifically. It may be about something more general, uh, issues that teenagers might be facing, something to that effect. And that's exactly what we're doing here. This particular uh, Parent Professional Development is a link to an article about underage drinking, but specifically tied to the COVID situation. I don't know if you've been watching the news, uh, but there have been some problems that have been popping up um, around the state and around the country, actually, where parents are hosting underage drinking parties, which A, is against the law. It's called the social host law. Uh, but B, it's also causing these COVID surges among high school populations, and it's quite literally shutting schools down. Um, so that's something we wanna get out ahead of and get you information about uh, prior to our hybrid return. Um, we also have uh, a great opportunity explained in the Wakona Wednesday message called the Playwright Mentoring Program put on by the Barrington Stage Company. It's a really cool program, and we would encourage you to check that out with your students. And then we also have a lot of repeat information that I'm not going to go over in this particular video because you've seen and heard it before, but it's there for you to access as you need. 
So with that, the Wakona Wednesday message is a lengthy one uh, this week. Uh, there will be lengthy ones in the coming weeks because we are preparing for hybrid return. And on top of that, we're also going to be sending you a series of videos about what morning arrival, dismissal, transition time, and what health and safety protocols we're going to have um, at, at Wakona uh, as we prepare for a hybrid return. So there's a lot of information whirling about. We're trying to put it all in one place, the Wakona Wednesday message, for you to access uh, over the next week or two. So with that, hope you have a great day and we'll see you soon. Take care.